So I've been putting this video off for a couple of reasons. Uh, I've been trying to find uh, the right amount of time to, in order to do a video where I'm actually going to cut my hair. But also, I've just been putting it off because there's a little uh, intrepidation when it comes to trimming your own beard. So this is a video about uh, trimming your own beard, and I'm going to show you how I do that. I've had my beard professionally trimmed only twice uh, in the past uh, uh, 32 months. Uh, for the most part, I take care of it myself. A lot of people fear uh, the process of doing a self uh, beard trim, but uh, I'm going to show you a method that I use that makes it uh, pretty simple. Uh, we're not getting uh, fancy with uh, cutting too many layers into the beard. Uh, basically how I trim it off the bottom and then how I soften the edges. Um, first thing I want to do is to take inventory. So you see your face from the front all the time, so you kind of know what you're dealing with. In this particular case, I know that I want to trim um, a good inch and a half off of my beard. So you're going to be surprised, uh, but I think I need to cut that much off. Um, I've been growing it for several months, it's getting quite long, and uh, I think it's time that I uh, dial it back a little bit. Uh, but one thing you need to do is take inventory of your profile. So um, I'm going to turn to the side and show you my two uh, profile views here. So I've looked at my beard from the side with the aid of a hand mirror. So I use the mirror to, uh, and I look in a regular mirror, which I'm looking at in front of me beyond the camera here, um, and I can actually see the profile of my beard. I actually want to continue to grow this out, not to get back to a blunt square cut, but maybe somewhere in between. So I'm going to actually take the majority of the cutting uh, from my beard um, from the front. So where you can see where it starts to slope, then I'm going to um, cut across the front here and just take a, tri a tiny bit off of the sides here. So we're going to actually go to handheld um, as the cameraman moves around. I'd like to thank my cameraman um, at V. Brzezinski at Instagram. And uh, he's a great photographer and he has um, been assisting me in making these videos. So props to him. I'm using Beard Brand scissors, of course, and a Beard Brand comb. Um, great products. Uh, and. Um, I was actually uh, semi-trained as a barber, and so I know a little bit about scissors. These are fantastic scissors and a great value f um, for the quality. Just uh, highly recommend them. And they can be used for anything for trimming around your ears, as well as your beard, your mustache, nose hairs, eyebrows. A uh, good thing to have uh, and not a big stretch in terms of investment. I cut my beard dry. So this morning I woke up, I washed my beard, conditioned it and styled it as I normally would. So this is how I wore it today. So it's done in a style that um, this is how I'm going to wear it. So this is how I want to cut it. Some people cut it wet, as I said, some people cut it dry. Um, just works for me to cut it dry. I see exactly the length that it's going to be. When you have curly hair and it's wet, tendency is to pull the hair, you stretch it, you cut it off, and then it springs up. And then when it dries, it even gets shorter. So for me, cutting my beard, beard when it's dry, I get a better idea of what it's going to look like. So taking the first cut, not to pull too tight, as I said. So I'm just going to pull it through a little bit, and I use the scissor to make the line that I'm going to cut. And I'm not looking to cut through all of the hair. So. Whew. First cut is the deepest. So you can actually see in this clip right now how straight my beard really is in the front. So you can see I'm not even using the scissor to pull it down anymore. So what I'm going to do is not pull these hairs forward too much, but keeping them in their natural pattern, looking straight ahead, I'm going to go for the next cut in. And then another cut in. Um, you can see that my beard already looks a little boxier uh, than it did. It had a tendency in the, the last cut to go a little more pointed, which is a great look. 
uh, but I think I wanted to bring it up a little uh, bit in the front, as I said. So what I'm going to do is then connect these cuts that I made in the front with the side. And I'm at, just looking in the mirror, and you can see that I want to cut this, these hairs off right here. So what you want to do is now check uh, by combing it through, moving it around a bit, checking uh, front and back, I mean uh, from the side to the back, and that's where your hand mirror comes in. So you take your Eclipse hand mirror and uh, you can actually look at the side view. And so looking at the side view, you can't see in the mirror here, but I see that um, these hairs are actually particularly long still. So I'm going to make an adjustment to those by pulling them down a little bit and really turning from the side now take uh, bend your head up and take a look now you want to take into consideration that your jaw is probably not symmetrical mine is in particularly not symmetrical uh, but I want it to be symmetrical from the front. So I'm not following my jawline so much as what the beard looks like in relationship to the general shape of my face. So when I look up, I'm going to make sure that this side is the same. And just looking at that, I see that this side is just slightly heavier. So I'm just going to take a little more off of that side. Now, when your head is up also, you can see some of the neck hairs. And so what I do is I actually pull it down. And you can see some of the hairs that are at the back, I'm going to take off. Because there are going to be times where your hair is not actually laying perfectly straight. Sometimes it's going to lay back on your neck. So what I do is I take that down, and I'm going to trim these hairs off. Now, what people do, and I think one of the problems with people cutting their beard is they'll take a look at it and like, oh, that's a little shorter on this side. And so they'll go and cut that side again. So I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, okay, that looks a little long, a little short there. My tendency is like, let's cut that off. And I want to counsel against that. So make maybe one adjustment to your beard, but don't consistently go back and forth and back and forth. And that's how people end up cutting too much off of their beard. It would be better to actually live with it for a day or two and then come back to it revisit it after you wear it for a little bit i just had my hair cut and so he actually uh, thinned out the sides here but i want to take just a little bit off of the side here and i'm going to look in my hand mirror and i can see that right if you can see in the hand mirror yeah right there i'm just going to take a little bit of the hair off not too much and i'm going to do this blind how about that So uh, pretty much a, um, a slightly tapered side with a straight front, and more of a, a, a block or a square cut beard um, is the look I'm going for here. Now that's a blunt cut and that's pretty um, harsh off the bottom. You can stop there. If your hair is curlier, um, the curl in your hair will, will soften that edge. But when you have straight hair like I do, uh, you might want to soften these edges. And so a little more advanced technique is, and this is where um, barbers will take the clippers and uh, clip through that. And what I do is I actually take the hair so you can see that the hair is straight on the bottom but as you bring it up if I take a bit of hair you can see that it is angled like this. You see that? And what I'm going to do is cut this corner off. And what that does is soften the edge, the blunt cut on the, on the front. And so I'm going to do that um, just a few places around the front, take a few cuts. If you're wondering, I am cutting my hair in the living room. So um, not only am I responsible for my own beard trimming, I will be responsible for vacuuming here.
So once again, I'm going to knock this corner off. Uh, if you notice, I'm not touching my mustache. I'm going to save that for another clip. I'm going to go a little shorter in the front of my mustache, and I think I'll save that and do that later. Um, as I pointed out before, I have these areas on my uh, beard that are uh, a little challenged, and so I want to be careful that I'm picking the hair from the front and the back of that area and not from one side or the other when I'm making these cuts. Your tendency is to take this hair and cut it forward or take that hair and cut it back on a bald or thinning patch. It's better to blend the two together and take the cut that way. So I think that's what all I'm going to do for now. Um, this would be, you know, it's still a, a pretty full, uh, pretty uh, large beard. I think it uh, tends to go more medium size right now. So what I would do is I have uh, the style that I put in it this morning, but obviously I cut off um, the under, the curl that I put in by rolling it under with my brush. So I'm going to take a little more uh, styling balm and just reactivate uh, the beard that I, uh, the, the style that I had going. So I'm just putting a little more product in my hair, in my beard. The spice citrus smells really good. Once again, like I did before, I'm not combing through the uh, beard. So I'm more smoothing over the front, uh, the top of the hair. So there you have it, guys. Um, that's a basic beard trim for me. Um, took it up about an inch and a quarter in the front. Um, blended it into the previous cut that I had on the sides, still tapered on the sides, more square on the front, and uh, that'll do me for a little bit. So as I said before, I'm going to live with this for a few days, and then I'll make some minor adjustments later, and then I might decide that I actually might want to go a little shorter. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I know there's uh, certain someone in my house who would love to see it go considerably shorter, and we might be working uh, toward that uh, direction. Big anniversary coming up. We'll be married 25 years and um, it might be something that uh, might be appreciated in my house. Anyhow, that's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. So, as always, beard on. Now that you're done with this video, head over to our shop and treat yourself to some fine beard brand products. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that button and keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.